Hello again. I'm Paul Hogendorn, co-founder of Freepoint Technologies, and in this session we're going to talk about downtime codes and collecting downtime information. In the past we've spoken a lot about measuring uptime uh, information because what gets measured gets improved. The same is true with downtime. Just a quick little recap of what we've spoken about before. The way we measure machines is we paint the bar blue whenever the machine is in evaluating condition and it's not whenever it's uh, not in evaluating condition. We make it visible for everybody so everybody's on the same page. Everybody knows when the machine is adding value and, and when it's not. So the question is how do you capture and how do you report downtime information? With our system it's very very simple. It's a matter of having the operators simply select the period that they want to narrate or record their downtime on and then say why the machine is down. Again, very, very simply, touch on the period that it's down, no shift scheduled. So I very, very quickly have captured the downtime, the non-productive time for those machines for those periods. Now some folks might think that this is not accurate or not empirical. It is accurate. The length of time when the machine went down to when the machine started again has been captured. It's not interpretive. It's not open uh, for uh, conversation or negotiation. It is what it is. The operator then has the opportunity to say why the machine went down. One more example. In this case, I'll say this was a non-scheduled case. The machine broke down. The machine is broken down. So at Freepoint, uh, we allow you to make your own downtime codes, your own downtime categories. One of the things that we would do is we would suggest that you create different categories, expected downtimes, make them amber, good downtimes, good reasons for being down, like setup changes and things like that, make them green, unscheduled reasons for being down, make that red, and perhaps managerial reasons, make them blue, and quality reasons make them another. So if you make every category a different color when you ask for a downtime report, you'll get something like this. So for here, for instance, if I'm looking at this Pareto chart, if I'm looking to the left side of the Pareto chart, I see a lot of amber. That's okay, those are all expected reasons. I see some green, that's okay. Those were good reasons. I see, uh, now I see some quality reasons and I see some unexpected reasons. All of these downtime conditions you can establish yourself and then they get reported back to you in the number of total minutes lost and the number of occurrences. Very, very simple. And this information comes from your machines and from your operators. Now, why is it important to get your operators involved? Very, very simply. When your operators see a system like this, they think Big Brother is watching. They think the system that's been put in place by you, the management, has been put in place to watch them. When you add FreePoint's narrative module, you're basically changing the whole conversation. You are no longer watching them, you are listening to them. They're the ones that are telling you what the problem is. The reports that you create and you print out and you put up on the shop floor is not your information that you're telling to them. You're putting up the information that they told to you. So the real magic of the Freepoint system is not only do you get empirical information on your downtimes, more importantly, you've included your operators as part of your solution, not as the problem.